Hello everyone who uh, might be um, watching this video. This is Bunny Must Die. A sweet little indie game based on a bunch of different retro games and it, it's just awesome. Typing my name in. It is known to be quite hard. Also, um, th this game is best played blind, which Unfortunately, I am not blind at this game, seeing how I've gotten every single achievement. <coughs> Alright, some time in the 200s. That, that would be the 200th century, right? Cat weapons using thermonuclear power have triggered the feline war, enveloping the, <laughs> enveloping the world in feline flames. The remaining populace were plunged into a cruel wor world where only the strong survived. No, on the contrary, they actually achieved harmonious use of thermonuclear energy and lived their days in peace. Was well this in well. Three days later, from not exactly any sort of specified event, but yeah, whatever, the mighty thermonuclear power plant exploded. At the time, Bunny just happened to be nearby. She was not badly injured, but the cat curse caused her to grow cat ears. Bunny was turned into half rabbit, half cat, or something or other. Oh, whoa, oh my, how terrible this all is, says Bunny. Bunny then followed the portly divine messenger who suddenly appeared to her. They soon arrived at the Devil's Labyrinth, where she could break the curse. HOWEVER! As soon as they arrived, they were attacked by a raging bull. The portly divine master fought back with everything he ha had, but proved fatal. He was pierced 24 times by those incredibly sharp orbs, dying on the spot. The portly divine messenger was absolutely beyond dead. The raging bull then up and left, but Bunny had no idea how to escape the place. Remainder abbreviated, I don't know what that's about. Devil's Dump. Okay, I have played this game before, gotten all the achievements. Um, this allows me to rock, walk to the right. We don't need that just yet. In the original um, version I played through, there were 31 achievements, and there appears to be um, 32 achievements for Bunny Masai. Not that I'm gonna um, get all of them, because um, I've been having problems um, saving any information whatsoever to this game. So that means I'm also going to do, have to do this all in one one. Bunny gets multiple weapons. She can get p picking them up Castlevania style, but um, it's probably going to be the last guy I kill with the knives. Because uh, this is going to be a, m a one weapon run. I got yellow powder which increases my time. Bunny says time power up with, with only a slight Japanese um, accent. That's the saving point, I don't need it now. I've actually tried to record this game before and felt in that 15 times that that spike pick. Never actually got hurt though because um, the one um, skill I have retained happened to be um, guard blocking. Which, um, despite not being able to do anything else as well, I've been able to um, do that, like, whenever. So, the spike ball, it can get pretty crazy, can stop time as well, and those two um, things use in tandem can really destroy some bosses, not all bosses though. 
My sins have been engraved into the monument. Life and time power fully restored. 60 seconds pass. Um, the 60 seconds passes, um, has to do with some achievements. And here we have our first boss. I am the first devil. Elbow Bon B O I. Gaha Bon Bon. Gaha. What the? Who is this girl? Not really in the mood for this. I didn't ask you for your life story. Oh, whatever. I will say this. I think you need to make up your mind. Are you a cat or a rabbit? Just cross the line, Miss Forehead. Yes, Miss Forehead. So. The trick to dealing with um, this boss, this uh, um, weapon is. Um, Crud. I am doing horrible. And I am wasting some time power. But, um, her movements are pretty, um, consistent for the most part. Crud. Missed that part again. Get you? No! Ugh, crud. Oh wait, you see flies back this way. So yes, I'm doing this the hard way. Because I can't um, pull off the one trick. Which is that, when you freeze time the spike ball goes through enemies like most weapons. However, um, you can unfreeze time on the rebound and it can um, take out her entire health bar if you do it right. The running sandals. We actually um, don't need them to get out of the room or even pass the game, but um, this game has lots of self-imposed challenges you can impose on yourself, like um, typically that involves not getting items, because the only item you really need is, um, well, I guess the orbs, two time upgrades, crud. Ooh, ooh, let's do this. Awesome, I'm muscular. So you need the um, orbs, the time upgrades. Don't even need the gears at the beginning that let you go to the right. Now the spike ball is the strongest weapon in the game, and it's considered hard to control, but it can destroy most um, small enemies in one hit. And already we are at our second boss. Pooya! Now the trick to defeat figuring out how to defeat this enemy is Crud. Is um usually just um use a Zappy boomerangs, but um, this is since this is a one weapon run, gonna ig ignore that um, limit strategy. It's actually possible um, to defeat that without the gears and only facing left. I've done it once before. It was much harder than using the spike mace um, as, as, as it was. Uh, I forgot what weapon I use. I think I might have actually used the knives to defeat um, that guy fa well, facing the wrong way. So th that bunny doll up there is an item that caused me to fall in the pit 15 times si since my last attempt at recording. That was a mistake. Um, it. You need the running shoes to get the item, however. Uh, 
the purpose of the bunny doll is that's basically like an extra life, even though I don't have the right ability to use it yet. And I forgot something. So right now I have one of the required items, which is a red orb. And what you need the orbs for is to unlock their corresponding statues. And we get a second time power increase. Time power offers a number of other secrets. Pull time down and the flow of time will begin to march backwards. Yes, random budding girl can do that. And that's only when she has two time upgrades. So yes, Bunny is quite overpowered, but this um, game makes up for it in um, difficulty. Um, run an easy weapon button and you can Do the Keki thing. Did I read you? Yes, using weapons to destroy walls. Now the reason why you need to find power upgrades is this particular puzzle opens the door for one second. And for some reason freezing time does not um, freeze the countdown. However, you can reverse time. Also, that torch um, contains the worst upgrade in the game. You never want to upgrade Fool's Forest. See that guy? I just crushed him. Now, for the main um, quest, it you want to go down, but I'm going up to get some items. Because this isn't a no item run. I don't really get to show off as, as much of the game with a no item run. And now, figuring out this thing. And just use time to my advantage there. Trample damage is now tripled, um, and not only is um, trample damage increased, but um, you can now um, destroy torches by walking on them, which I have to be careful because they might give me a weapon upgrade I don't like. And I don't know why I um, didn't get the health spurs, but anyway, oh crud! I didn't guard block. Ah. <sighs> 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 In game, they are instant kill. Oh, crud. Uh, but I really want the trample things. Oh, cried. Um, not sure how you. Oh, uh, supposed to get out without guard block. Ugh.
<sighs> so yes, mistakes can be very deadly in this game. Um, there is one other item to get up uh, in this um, general area, but the save point. Um, did you contain an item? Right, I didn't see you, Mr. Fire Guy. Uh, see, um, those blocks which are a bunch of eyes. That that can usually um, indicate a secret. Uh, don't want to get a different weapon. Oh, crud. That one weapon I passed up is a um, light sword. It's basically a light favor. Oh! Got that down. Oh yeah, that's um, how you get up to that particular area. My time power just went out. Um, what now? What I'm able to do is use those um extra lives in back. Um, not in back. Um, down at near the bottom of the screen, the bunny dolls. And I'm going to save for um, extra health. Fall down here. Oh yeah, um, whenever um, you use these orbs you have to remember to take them when you're not in a certain area. Forbidden Thermonuclear Power Plant. The original translation from WormHatKing.net um, said Tectonic. Now that guy over there, he's a bit nasty, but however, like most non-boss um, enemies, he gets taken out with one hit of this spy camera. And what we have is cat girls and incubators, which are somehow um, powering the entire planet. And those pumpkin guys. Not sure if they're supposed to be a Oh crud. Wasn't supposed to pick that up. Okay, back to this part. Really got to be wary of those torch things. Um, here is a cat girl. Um, since they're a cat girl, they control um atomic energy. And when they um roll only then are they vulnerable. Otherwise they just guard block everything. These laser things are easy to take care of. You just um, take care of them at their source. How rude, Mr. Guy. I'm going to kill you. But she got me. Anyway, uh, I hit the switch up there, use some reverse time. I could easily um, get that funny doll, but I don't really need it. Since I'm not going for 100% completion. And gotta be more careful of the torches. This way is um, something that um, might um, help anyone who's has problems consistently dying. Which I, I've really only had um, once with the um, getting of the trample shoes. Now here, uh, the super ultimate puzzle. Now the secret to this is to go really, really, really um, fast and cheese time to um, reverse stuff. Um, there's like several checkpoints to um, do that trick to get from that button up there to this door, but um, I don't really need it. Now the recommended um, method for um, this guy, see look there's a boss, is to use um, the Jedi um, boss sword thing. 
However, um... Wow. How rude, Mr. Guy. However, all I have is my spike mace and, um, trample shoes. Hooray for triple damage! Ah, did that, um, on the first try last time I tried it, but oh, oh well. Can't win them all. I think there's a, yeah, sword there which, um, makes that, um, guy easy to defeat with a weapon, but he, he's really easy. That, that guy I, doesn't stand any chance against Bunny. Anyway, this is gonna be where the episode ends, although I'll continue playing. But yes, whatever. <laughs>